This is a, a NID that's installed on the side of the home. There's a drop that goes from here overhead to the street where we've connected it to the house to the uh, to Irwin's main connections. From this point, this is installed prior to the installation. The day of the installation, we're running a fiber drop um, from this location down into, in this case, down into the basement. We drilled a small hole into the basement and we sealed that hole afterwards. Um, that gives us access to the basement from then the basement then we can run that line up inside wherever that service uh, needs to be installed at. This is where the line enters the basement. We've uh, kept that line with existing wiring, keeping it up out of the way. Uh, that way if the basement ever needs to get finished or whatever, that the fiber optic line will not be in this way. So that line travels up through the basement and um, we're trying to keep the installation in a central location. So we use this uh, basement access to run all the way through the basement. And then we come out through here. All that is above that wiring there where you can't see it out of the way. It connects over to another part of the basement where that line travels again up in the floor joist. And then from that point, uh, we've gained an access in an interior wall and we've drilled down in the basement. That fiber line goes up through the interior part of that wall here where it stays well disguised and then we'll show you where that connection's at upstairs. Okay, that line comes up through the basement inside this interior wall. What we've done in this location is we've cut a, uh, a access point inside the drywall. Uh, we're able then to then affix a face plate to it after the fact. That line comes up inside the interior wall, plugs into the back side of this face plate. From there, we ran a jumper from this location over to where we're gonna be installing the uh, device uh, optical network terminal, the ONT for use uh, for the internet and or telephone. This device is called an ONT, Optical Network Terminal. The fiber line that's uh, plugged into the wall plugs into the back side of this. This device takes the fiber and converts it over to the services we're using, in this case, uh, internet and telephone service. Uh, this device will then supply both of those services to uh, either feed the uh, phone wiring in the house, a, a phone that's plugged in at this location, and uh, uh, wireless connections such as a router or a, uh, a hard wire to a desktop. In this case, we've installed a router that comes off of the ONT. This supplies the wireless connections to the home. Um, this device can also supply hardwired connections to uh, PlayStation, Xbox, um, or other devices that need to be hardwired. And uh, this is mostly centrally located inside the house. That way we can provide the best wireless signal. Uh, this device is also checked to make sure that the, uh, the Wi-Fi signal is broadcasting on a proper channel to make sure the customer is going to have the best service possible. Okay. During the installation, uh, we analyze the home and the surrounding areas to find out what types of Wi-Fi signals uh, are broadcast. Each one of these is a Wi-Fi from a home. You see CenturyLink, uh, even a thermostat broadcast, depending on what somebody may or may not have named it. Um, our goal is to put this Wi-Fi signal on the least used channel, best location. So in this case, not that much going on on channel 11, usually 11, 6, and 1. Uh, not going much, uh, as far as channel 11 goes, not much going on there. So we've uh, added this signal to channel 11 so this house can get the best possible Wi-Fi signal.